using models to represent fractions. Let's use counters to multiply two proper fractions. Our multiplication statement, 3 quarters multiplied by 12 fifteenths. Let's think of this question in another way. What is 3 quarters of 12 fifteenths? To do this using counters, we first must represent the fraction 12 fifteenths. And to do that, we must determine the whole. To do that, we must take a look at the denominator of the fraction, fifteenths. That means our whole is going to be divided into fifteen equal parts. Each counter represents one fifteenth. That means we need fifteen in our whole. Now remember, this represents the whole. We want to represent twelve fifteenths. To do that, we must count out each counter or each one fifteenth to get the fraction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm going to circle my fraction. The area inside the purple marker represents twelve fifteenths. Our multiplication question or statement asks, what is three quarters of twelve fifteenths? So let's focus on our fraction inside the purple area. Three quarters of twelve fifteenths what we must do now is make four equal parts according to our denominator of our first factor. Using my multiplication skills and math skills, I can find out and determine that I need three counters in each group of four. This tells me that each group of four equals one quarter. I need to represent three quarters. One quarter, two quarters, three quarters. I'm going to circle this area in a different colored marker. So the area that is circled in the green represents three quarters of twelve fifteenths. That's the answer to our original question. But what does this represent? Remember, when we first started, we said that each counter represents one fifteenth. So let's count the counters inside the green area. One fifteenth, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fifteenths. The answer to our statement, three quarters, of twelve fifteenths or three quarters times twelve fifteenths is nine fifteenths. Now remember, we can simplify this by finding a common factor that goes into nine and into fifteen. That would be three. Three goes into nine three times. Three goes into fifteen five times. The answer to our question is three-fifths.